morning <laughs> or afternoon, but for me it's morning. I always do site visits early to beat the traffic. So what am I doing here? It's, it's not very nice, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> this is just a little house that I bought mm, about six years ago. Yeah, um, as you can see, do you see the car carpet's a bit dirty? To be fair, the paint isn't bad, but what we're doing is we're just renovating um, because I uh, assume that I have a cycle of roughly five years, although this one's actually had six years where, I mean, look, the carpet's just, I don't mean this rudely at all, but there are some tenants who are really, really helpful and there are some tenants who just go, oh, I've spilt something in the carpet and I kind of just really don't care. So after five years where a certain percentage of people are like, I don't care, uh, this is what happens to your carpet. It just kind of gets a bit knackered. So. What do you do about it? You run a repair cycle. Very boring, <laughs> but um, you uh, serve a section 21 because obviously you can't really repair um, anything in the house and paint the whole house and recarpet the whole house with tenants inside and you get everybody out. So this house actually smells really nicely of uh, paint right now. You get everybody out and you simply refresh the whole house. Why? because that allows me to continually charge top-end rents because I'm providing a top-end quality solution. So every five, this house is six years, every five to six years, I uh, refresh my entire house and start again to continue to provide a great solution. It's gonna take us a week. Um, we've already got tenants moving in, although they've seen it in this state. <laughs> but we have shared them photos of what it will look like again. Um, so, you know, it's a week, it's a bit of a pain. You always have a bit of a discussion with people that you've said, I'm terribly sorry, but we've got to refresh the house so you're gonna have to move out. And then you go again. And that is because I wanna stay in the top end quartile of letting. And that's because I wanna have Top end quartile behaviour tenants who generally pay on time, and, and we've got, we've, we are owed in our entire sum of a landlord £602.50, and, and he's got CCG against me because we've, we've got tenants who pay. I, I mean, you do have to persuade them to pay occasionally. You do have a late payment process. About 10% of people will try and pay late, but we do have tenants who pay. Why? Because we attract good quality of tenants because we want to keep on top of our properties. So none of that kind of like I bought a house and I haven't touched it for 20 years malarkey. No, every five years, new carpets, repaint the whole thing and just check anything that needs doing. So that's my morning, <laughs> just inspecting. And the builders, it's eight o'clock and the builders are not here. So I am about to phone Eden and go, uh, <clears throat> where are you? See you soon, bye.